lovely year ones. I think it's time for a story, don't you? Today, we've got Smelly Louie by Catherine Rayner. Here we go. Louie had just had a bath. He smelt of roses and apple blossom and he was not happy about it. Something was missing. His own special smell had gone and he wanted it back. Louis trotted out into the garden where he found a fox. The fox smelt a lot. Where did you find your smell? asked Louis. Well, it's been building up for years, explained the fox. But there is something over in the brambles that might be worth a sniff. Louis followed his nose and found <gasps> oh, an old boot. Ooh, pooey. The boots smelt good, like mouldy cheese. But something was still missing. Some nearby snails suggested he search in the alleyway. Louis followed his nose and found... Oh, stinky bins. They were overflowing. Oof with fishy leftovers and cabbage bleh, mixed with rotten eggs. Bleh. Delicious! It was still not his own special smell. Some friendly flies were lingering and they knew of something wonderfully whiffy just down the road. Ugh, stinky sludge! Louis wriggled and rolled. His smell was getting better. But he, it still needed something else. And then he remembered the Pongy Pond. Louis wallowed and splashed. His special smell was back and it was amazing. Louis had had a very good day. Everything had worked out beautifully. He trotted happily back home with his special smell wafting all around him. The fox was very impressed. Louis sauntered into the house and up the stairs. And that was when he heard the noise. Oh, I wonder what the noise is going to be. And he smelt a particularly ooh, smelly smell. Not as carefully collected, skillfully selected special smell. It smelt a bit like, surely it couldn't be. Louis, come here. Apple Blossom! Oh no! Oh, it must be bath time again. Well, I think I would much prefer my dog smelt of roses and apple blossom than pongy ponds and stinky boots. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.